friends and welcome back to another episode of decluttering one garbage bag at a time where I am taking back my home literally one garbage bag at a time for today's episode I will be your host I will be referring to myself as Libby and we will be referring to the person who you will see in the majority of this video as past Libby now for poor past Libby she had no idea what she was getting into with opening the second tote in her linen closet in her hallway if you missed the first video I will link it so you can go ahead and watch that but just to catch you up to speed past Libby's cleaning out a closet Past Libby gets the top clothes done, a tote done, and she's on to her second tote. Little did she know, this second tote would literally rock her world. So let's take a look. I don't think you can see me. Now you can. Every time I put a flannel on, I think I'm gonna be a pretty girl. Look nice and dainty in a pretty little flannel. I look like a lumberjack every single time. But we're here for it, we're comfy and we are decluttering yet again. One of you geniuses told me, hey, you should probably clean your room before you even get started on that second bucket. And I, you know what? I completely agree with you because it's kind of an overwhelming bit of a hodgepodge in here right now. So let's do that first and then we will get to the bucket. Now, as you can tell, past Libby was in a really good mood going into this box. She has absolutely no idea what could even be in this box. And she is going into all of this decluttering as optimistically as she possibly can. Little does this poor soul know that the second that she opens this box, her heart is going to sink into her stomach. 10 years of built up emotions are going to erupt from the bowels of her body up into her throat and out her eyeballs in the form of a waterfall. And her brain is going to become the most conjumbled mess that she has ever seen it in 10 years. You guys have spoken about this dress. If you missed my last video, I asked you guys about your opinions on this dress tunic thing going on here. Um, a lot of you said that it's not the vibe. And like, I understand where you're coming from because I don't feel like it's the vibe when I'm in it. So therefore you said, get rid of it. And a few of you told me to alter it. A few others suggested like to keep it and just style it differently. If I keep this to alter it, I will literally never alter it in my life. That's just who I am as a person. I wish I could do better. It's just not how it's gonna work. And I do agree, it, it's not my vibe. So I've had it for I think five years now. No, it's been more than five years. I've had this for like seven years and I've never worn it. So it's gonna go in the donation bag. So thank you guys for helping me make this decision. And I know it didn't look like I cleaned anything. I just threw stuff around stuff. But <laughs> I promise I did. These are my pajamas for tonight. The stuff on my dresser is keep. That is stuff that I need to put into totes. I just don't know which totes yet. This stuff back here, that is my summer keep. So I don't want to just put that pile away when I know I'm going to have other summer keep stuff. So the floor, the next major issue. Here's our bag from last time. The other one is full. Now I haven't taken either of these down to my car yet. Um, I usually do that, but I just wanted to finish this whole closet before I did that. So that's why they're not there yet. So I know a few people mentioned like taking it out of the house is the hardest part. And I 100% agree with you. My issue and why I'm just dancing around <laughs> is that like, these are all my dirty clothes. And <sighs> right now I don't have a basket. So everyone else is using the basket. So I just gotta kinda figure out where to put them. <gasps> this looks better, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna put this in the hallway for now. I'll find a basket for it. The cats will make a bed out of that for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when I tell you I have no idea what is in this one, I have no idea. I thought most all of my winter stuff was in that other one. I don't even know what could be in here. Again, more things on top of it, but let's see what was actually in this. Oh God. 
<laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm literally already gonna cry. This was like worst case scenario. This is a tote full. It's kind of like a train wreck you can't look away from, right? Shit. Yeah. They're just clothes. Like, they are just clothes. <laughs> okay. Um, this one's gonna be hard. Um, God, I was doing so well. God, I was doing so well. God, this one's gonna be hard. Okay, let me compose myself for a second. And then we'll dive in. No wonder I had no idea what was in this tote. I haven't touched this stuff in years. I'm going to be so honest with you. I don't know how much of this I'm going to get through. Um, <laughs> I expected it to be more of my winter and summer clothes, but then I got to thinking about it. Like, what other winter and summer clothes do you have, Libby? Like, that's what you had. I told you guys I didn't have a tote for his baby clothes or his sentimental clothes. Well, ta-da! You just gotta start, like you just... <laughs> Sorry in advance for how much crying is gonna happen. <laughs> All right, friends, let's take a second together to speak while past Libby is trying to get her thoughts in order. Now, I think what is going through past Libby's brain is, one, how did I forget that I had this entire tote of clothes well, you haven't touched it in over three years, so that's pretty easy to forget, my dear. And two, holy buckets, I don't have a tiny child like that anymore. That phase has gone poof. And if I'm going to get rid of these clothes, then I'm going to completely forget that phase. Poor past Libby is trying to work through these traumas and work through all of these issues that she had absolutely no intention of bringing up. And did we mention that it is basically 10 o'clock on a Monday night, past Libby did not make the best decisions. No, we can all agree on that one, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I am so sorry. I might not talk a lot during this one. I think she has it together now. Let's watch. I've already got this much to give away. I don't need it. Um... It also just kind of makes me sad, like this whole tote of clothes that like somebody else could be using that I'm just, you know, keeping for God knows what reason. I don't know. Maybe I just need to cry. Maybe that's part of the healing process of the moving forward. I don't know. Maybe that's just all part of it because I can't tell you why I'm crying so much right now. I don't know if it's the memories. <laughs> says property of mom. <laughs> I don't know. I just have like a whole like slew of emotions going on. Like I just memories are coming forward. Of, like remember him like wearing it or being in that outfit. But also like maybe I'm kind of grieving the fact that like I've decided that I probably don't want more kids. Um because that's kind of what I was saving all this for, was in case I have more kids. And just at this point in my life, I I can't. I don't, I just, I, I can't, I can't do it. Um, and I don't know, I, I sometimes feel like that makes me selfish. I sometimes feel like, I don't know. So maybe it's a little bit of grief that's going into it as well. Could be. I wish I knew what to say right now. I just don't. Um, I am just going to be a little bit more lenient with myself um, with this box. If I keep more than I thought I was going to, that's not, not a bad thing right now. Um, just because I feel like I kind of blindsided myself with this box. I don't know how I forgot that I had all this here. But I do. Does anybody else cry uncontrollably or sob like a little baby when they see their kids' clothes? 
Because if you do, please let me know in the comments. Because um, I would really like to not feel like an insane person right now. Because I feel a lot of feelings right now. And I don't know how to categorize them. I'm just kind of going based off of like intuition. I don't really know. Like I remember a lot of, I remember him wearing a lot of these clothes. But I know I don't need to keep all of them. Dude, why is this so stupidly hard? It's just clothes. It's not even that deep. Like, it's really not. This isn't even his baby clothes, you guys. When I clean out my storage unit, I'm going to be a mess. Yes, I have a storage unit. Allow me to step in here for just a second. Uh, she's a bit of a blubbering mess right now currently, and she's just rambling trying to get all of her emotions out and talk herself through this process. Now, I do actually think that that helped past Libby going through this tote. I think that talking was a great distraction to get some of these feelings off of her plate and just kind of roll through these clothes. Now, one thing that Pass Libby did not mention while she was doing this that I feel, as your host today, you need to know, is when she was going through these clothes, she did not let herself sit in those emotions of one singular cloth, cloth, clothing, clothing item at a time. So what Pass Libby would do is she would pick up the clothing item, she'd look at it, if it sparked a memory or something like that, she would put it in the pile of keep. Now, if it didn't spark any memory or any emotion, she would put it away. Now, yes, you are not really supposed to use your emotions when you are decluttering, correct? However, this whole bucket took Libby by surprise, so she kind of had to do whatever she needed to do just to get through the bucket. And I honestly think that it worked very well for her. So let's continue to watch to see how far she gets. I'm very excited to see how far she gets. It's empty. So <laughs> this is all donation. And that right there is key. And that is what I kept. It is 10.30 at night. Um, I am exhausted, emotionally drained. That was not what I was expecting to be in that tote. Um, I am really proud of myself, though, for what I accomplished. And that in and of itself was going to make me cry because I got rid of the biggest bag of stuff ever. So I am extremely proud we're not fully done with the closet yet, but I will see you another day when I have the energy, which will be a few seconds for you. Wow. I am so proud of her. Aren't you so proud of her? From not knowing what she was going to get into and then to having a total mental breakdown and then just getting it done. I think that we all can applaud past Libby for a second. And that brings us to me. Future Libby. All right, I need to take the host voice off because it honestly hurts my lips. <laughs> so it's been about four days since I have even like touched any of this stuff just because I've been busy with work and all that. So really the only thing that was left to do after all that is just put the buckets back into the closet and 
Um, I am giving away one of the bags to a friend and then the second one I'm waiting to hear back. So I unfortunately am not going to be able to put those into my car in this video, which is something that I really, really like to do is either take the trash out or put the donation bags in my car or if I know where they're going, get them to that destination so that they do not sit in my house and then I'm tempted to keep them. So hopefully they will be gone in a little bit. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for going along with host Libby and past Libby. <laughs> I had no idea how to do this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one for more decluttering. And I think I might take a break for a second and do a little bit of cleaning because this house is gross. Whatever I do, I will show you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.